So I am heading out to Echo Lake and I'm going out to these cabins. It's been just crazy with work and life and a lot of things going on. It's just weird because you know sometimes you just don't get enough time with your thoughts. You can't process. You're just moving on to the next thing and trying to just keep everything afloat, keep everything going. And sometimes you just need to process and you need to be alone with your thoughts. So I've been kind of realizing how much I don't get that anymore. I used to get it quite a bit with sitting in machinery all day. Recently just saw this YouTube video from Peter McKinnon and a bunch of the guys talking about uh, panic attacks, anxiety, all this stuff that comes from the future and schedules of busyness and the pressure of uh, performing and being able to deliver and produce and I've been kind of relating a lot to that and I'm gonna go out to this cabin and just kind of see if I can get my sanity back. <laughs> yeah, just trying to get my mind, peace in my mind, relax. The pace of life sometimes will wear you out and gotta recharge. So I'm really taking this time to sit back, really go deep into some of those things that I just haven't had time for or put off because of things being so busy. I'm gonna try and dialogue some of this and share some of it because hopefully, you know, maybe this, this is something that somebody else needs to do too. So I feel like it's important to me and hopefully it's important to you too. The further you get down a gravel road, it almost feels like the more excited you get and more at peace just get further and further from the noise and the bustle because this part of this process is like making sure that it's kind of like an accountability in some senses like if I make a video about doing it that means I actually did it but you could probably argue no you didn't because you're busy making a video but I had to put thought I had to actually get into those places to get reflective and be in those frames of mind I couldn't just make it up or I could but maybe it's just a crappy video that nobody would watch so I don't know here it is and a little further down the road and we'll tune in then oh I made it to the cabin and uh just got the key and checked in so I'm gonna go check it out but uh give it a little little tour here a bit uh cabin seven that's where I'm staying the lake's right here so let's go explore see what we can see and we'll go from there Well, it's the morning of day two, and just made up some coffee and some breakfast. Just letting it cool before I burn my mouth. Camp coffee, and it's just gonna be hanging out. And looks like there's other people out there kayaking, fishing, and down at the swim dock. I stayed up pretty late last night, actually, uh, playing around with photos and just taking some really cool night shots with the moon. And hopefully, some of them turn out. But yeah, just did a little bit of editing and some stuff on that, and. We'll see how today goes, but it's pretty good sleep. The only thing that I would say is like just the sounds, you know, used to all the sounds and yeah, there's like definitely critters running around. You can hear them and I don't know if they're, I don't think they're in the cabin, but they're like on the roof or in the walls or underneath it. So kind of wakes me up a bit, but it's one of those things of coming up to a cabin you can't. Take it for granted, I guess, back at your home, but 
there's a certain appeal and charm about sleeping here, being here, waking up to the lake. And I would love to have something this size. It's perfect. Anyways, I'm gonna do breakfast and uh, catch you and see. I am heading home and the weekend is done. The trip is awesome. It's such a beautiful place here. And, and man, I just wish it could last longer. Just You just start getting in the groove and then it's like, oh, time to go. But that's kind of how most vacations are, but that's a good indication that, okay, I was kind of slowing down and I do need to keep an eye on that. And anyways, I hope that, uh, yeah, you enjoyed this weird adventure documentary video of my weekend away and yeah hope you get to get away and recharge your batteries too